It's time to continue working on the post-apocalyptic classroom and in this video I'm going to work on the floor and the chalkboard and I think I'll do the globe on my own and so I brought in the floor as an FBX right now I've got my material here and I'm going to get started doing this I'm going to refer to some notes on the side there okay so I'm going to look for concrete concrete clean I'm going to drop that in there and that gives us sort of a granite type look for this. Uh, I'm going to shut off the color and the normal. I just kind of want to use the imperfections on the surface uh, for this part. Okay, so there's our first layer. Now the next layer, I'm gonna add a fill and I'm gonna use color only. And I'm gonna set this color here, so. I'm going to choose 016 and I'm going to use that across the board actually. 016 and 016 to get that dark color. And I'll use 0010. Okay, so that's that's fine like that for the color all right and now i'm going to add a black mask and a fill and in the gray scale i'm going to come over to my procedurals and i'm going to search for grunge spots and i'm going to use uh let's see i'm going to use this one here grunge spots yeah so we'll get that all right i'm going to scale these so they're pretty small dot-like structures there and the balance is 0 0.5 okay so that's all I'm going to do for that one so let's call this layer grunge spots okay now I'm going to add another fill layer and again I'm going to use color only and I'll use 04 02 and 002 to get this brownish color and I can change these a little bit won't matter that much 095 004 okay that's fine there okay so we're going to start with that fill and then we're going to add a black mask and a fill. And in the gray scale, now I'm going to use grunge rust. Let's try that. Let's try this grunge rust here to give that. And um, let's see. Let's put the scale at maybe two and give this a bit of a rotation for variation and now so that uh, we don't get too much of uh, sort of a pattern on here i'm going to add a paint layer come to my brushes and go for my dirt brush press x and let's just have a look at this decrease the flow and just uh I'm just gonna go over this since we need a little bit of this stuff here and there. That kind of thing, so I don't really see a pattern developing here. Okay. Alright, cool. So this is going to be grunge rust. And we're gonna add one more uh, fill layer here. And I'm going to use color again. And I think I'll, I'll add some general roughness here for some variation. Okay, and the color I want to use, I'm going to use 0 0.1076 and 0 0.44. And over here is 09.5. That's good enough. That's okay like that. All right, another black mask with a fill. And here we're going to use, I'll just do it here, clouds. 
try clouds three. Get a little bit of that brown there. And let's drag that up a little bit. Maybe 0.6. Just for a little bit of variation in there. And yeah, that's and that's that's going to be it. Pretty straightforward, but that's my apocalyptic apocalyptic floor. Okay, so I'm just going to save that now and I'll bring it into Blender afterwards. I'll move on to the chalkboard. So we've got that all set up and the, ma the maps are already uh, baked. I'll just put on anti-aliasing. And we'll do the chalkboard. So we're gonna start with a fill. We use color and roughness and I'll set this at about 0.75 we're going to start with the the board itself so i'm going to be going for a green kind of color and i'm going to use these values zero one one zero four and Zero, 01 1 and here I'm going to use 33 three, that's fine 725 okay that's okay so we're going to start with that color and let's put all of this in a folder and I'm going to call this uh, chalkboard and we'll put a black mask on here and we have our board just there all right, let's continue now in the folder here. This is going to be, uh, I don't know, like base, let's say. And I'm going to add a fill layer, and this is going to be the grain. And on this fill layer, I'm going to add, um, it's really only going to be the normal. I'll click there. I'm going to add a filter to this one, and I'm going to choose this matte finish grainy. Right, you can see what's going on with that there. And uh, let's see, turn that off. I have to zoom in here for you to see that. You can see the grain there. And I'm gonna bring the resolution up to 2K. So you can see that there. So let's change some of the parameters of this. Uh, I'm gonna go for a scale of about 12. So it's very fine. And I'll bring the intensity to zone 0 0.4. So it's kind of like just there to, uh, to interact with the light. Very, very fine grain. Uh, if I did 10, it's probably okay too. Almost not even there. You can just see a little bit of that. So I, I am going to go back to the 12. Okay, so I've got that. And uh, the next thing we want to do is sort of snap there to there. Um, then it's just a question of if I want to write like a message or something on the board. Um, so for example, if I create a paint layer here, I'm just using color and uh, maybe dumb. Now coming over to my brushes and searching for chalk brushes, this chalk bumpy brush, decreasing the size. And now I'm gonna switch this back to 1024. It's a little easier for this. Now I'm only using my mouse. So I'll, I'll just do this and we'll see if, uh, if I wanna keep this. So I got something like that on the board and I can add in my alphas I can add um, a hand print of some sort
can do that. We can do something, yeah. Yeah. something like that. And then, so this is going to be, uh, I'll call it text. And then I'll come in with my uh, dirt brush. I'll use dirt one again with a low flow, but I'm actually going to switch to the eraser. And I could smudge that out. Okay, so we got that. All right, so I'm going to save. I'm going to switch back to 2K. And we'll add sort of some dusty chalk on there. Okay, so let's add a fill layer now, and I'm going to use color on there, sort of a whitish color with a black mask and a fill, and in the grayscale, I'm going to choose, let's reset this, black and white spots two to get that. And that's that's good like that actually and I'm just going to come back here and I'm, I'll just decrease the blend quite a bit to around 60 this okay I go a little bit higher all right like that and then I will use the dirt brush again actually we could do it this way Right, and we'll get rid of some of that. So decrease the flow, increase this, and we're just going to get rid of some of that. So it's just here and there. And I'll even lower that a bit. And just overall. Okay, so that is what we get so far for the chalkboard itself. And for the wood around it, I'm going to come to the smart materials and I'm going to search for wood uh, PAC. And let's go back to 1024 for the moment um, for my computer. I'm going to add a black mask. Actually, you know what? I'll add a white mask. It'll be easier. And, uh, there we go. Okay, but I do want to come into the edges on the paint and we're sort of erasing some of those like, like I did before. So it doesn't have that stylized look quite as much. I do want some of them though for some sort of exposed edges. It's not so much at the corners, although that's where it would get dinged up, but I'll just do this because I did it for the other ones. This kind of thing here. Okay, something like that. And then I think I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And so what I'll do is here, uh, I'm going to add one more, a fill layer. And I'll use just color. All right. And um, I'll find a sort of a dark brown kind of color. And just so that's gone there. I just see if I can darken it like that not too much I just want a little bit so let's see a little bit lighter a little bit darker for a slight change I want to save and I'm actually I'm going to uh, come back to 2k okay so I'll play around with this and we'll decide if I like that and then I'll bring it in to Blender and I'm going to show you what the scene looks like with textures, but it might be after a little bit of a change. All right, so here I am in my Blender scene as, and as you can see, I've uh, moved some stuff around a little bit and uh, I'm not 
you know, set in stone on, on all of this, but I think I'll probably, I might go with this anyhow. Uh, I've got some books positioned around, the bookcases, some desks broken and stuff, and I've got the chalkboard in there. I'll show you this in a second. I've still got the open book to do and the papers to do and maybe a little bit more on the globe to do, but we'll have a look at this with everything textured so far except for, like I say, the open book. Um, which I may or may not use the papers. This is an image of uh, what that looks like so far, which has been post-processed a little bit. All right, so my desks, my bookcases, some books, the globe uh, with a sort of a weird map on it, and the chalkboard. All right, so I still have to do the blinds, and I still have to do the papers and potentially the open book and then just decide what else I want strewn around some papers on the floor and some debris. And and then I, I'll have a final look and I'll think about more dirt and uh, leaks and stuff like that. And if I want to do something with glass and of course, then we've got lighting and stuff like that. But that's what the scene looks like so far with uh, those objects textured. All right, so I'll be back in the next uh, video to texture some more objects and spread them around the room as we get closer to the final of this project. Thanks so much for watching and hope you tune into the next video.